Hey, what's up everyone? It's David here. I've got the SkyQ here and today I'm going to show you how to find out what the internet speed your SkyQ is receiving. Now this can be done on your SkyQ main and SkyQ minis. Obviously there's going to be hardware limitations on the SkyQ minis as they can only download 100 megabytes per sec at one given time. So it's going to be limited to 89 to 99 meg, maybe 100 if max. But that's about it. You're not going to receive anything higher. And I'd like to point out, if you haven't got the HDR ready SkyQ box, you're going to be receiving less than 100 meg or just basically 100 meg because those ones had 10 to 100 Ethernet ports, whereas the HDR ready boxes have gigabit connections so they can receive up to a thousand meg per sec. So first thing you're going to need to start off is a Netflix subscription as you can only test your speed through the Netflix app on the Sky Box, Sky Q, as there isn't any actual native speed test built into the actual software. So Obviously, you need a Netflix subscription, but hey ho, anyway, let's go to the apps. Click on Netflix. The side search, you've got their home, news, new and popular, TV programs, films, categories, my list. And not a lot of people realize that you see in that corner there, at the bottom, it says get help. So you want to go down all the way notifications then cut across and press get help go down to check your network and what this will do is this will check the Netflix servers and its connection speed it has to your device so it's not entirely accurate but it just gives you an idea of what your box is receiving what it's capable of so press check your network. I like to point out the best result you can get is obviously by connecting through the ethernet port and not using wireless. This is connected through the ethernet port. So I'm getting 402.48 MP, Mbps per sec. Okay megabits per sec. If I do the test again, let's see what the result is because it will differ. I tend to do it three times and then basically get an average between the two. So 402 was the last time we ran that test. The second time, I should say the first time. Ooh, 396.18, I think. 402 is probably the best result we're going to get. Four oh nine. Okay, so we'll put that on an average of four hundred megabits per sec. Should I? Oh, I don't really know. Should I do the test a fourth time? You know they say it's madness if you keep doing the same thing and expect a different result, but in this case the result keeps changing. So I think that saying is valid. Let's go over here again. Fourth time. Fourth time's a charm. They say third time, but I say fourth. Seems to be taking longer. Three nine two point. Yeah. Okay, we're just gonna put that down to um, four hundred. We'll put that as say four hundred. But oh, sorry, my finger slipped.
Oh, wow. I've just lost 50 mic there. But maybe it's time to redeem myself. I'm going to press it one more time just to annoy you all. We're just going to say that my speed is 400. So, uh, yeah, I hope this video helps you out. Um, if you could hit that thumbs up, I'd appreciate that. That means a lot to me, or the YouTube algorithm anyway. And uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. That would even help me out even more. And like always, see you out there.